It says it's five hours free. Well, I made it to the airport, Luke. New airport for you, huh, Jason? Yeah, I'm gonna airport. add it to my list of commercial airports I've flown out of. So, pretty tiny terminal. Yeah, it's a pretty small place. <laughs> How many gates? Like two? Three. Three of them? So, SAS and a couple others, huh? Yeah. That's pretty good. We're here at the Aarhus Airport. Yep. And uh, I'm about to fly out to go to first to Prague and then to Budapest. What are you eating? Well, I invited Jason to have a Danish in Denmark with me, but he wouldn't do it. So I'll have to eat a Danish for him in Denmark. And here, they're just called pastries. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I put the, the brand name to the camera. Oh, yeah. So, so thanks for the ride, Luke, to the Aarhus Airport. No problem, Jason. It's pretty good. It's a little rainy out there, but it shouldn't affect your flying today, right? Nope. Plane's not made of sugar, so it won't melt in the rain. <laughs> Where's your next destination, you think, after Denmark? After Denmark? Well, there's some talk about taking seaplanes to Greece. Mm, okay. I think that'd be pretty exciting to fly seaplanes in Greece. Okay. There's also talk of taking seaplanes to Portugal and Spain, mm. the Erzos. So if any of those things happen right away, I'd probably go for that. Oh, you might be flying in the Azores. There is talk of it, yes. Oh, that'd be nice. I'll come visit you there. Okay, sounds good. What city in Greece? I don't know where, I think they want to base it in Corfu, but there's yeah. actually, in Greece right now, the seaplane landing areas are already approved. Mm, okay. There's just no seaplanes in the country yet. Yeah. Or there's, there's one. Yeah. So uh, there's talk that uh, they want to bring Twin Otter seaplanes back to Greece. They've been there before, but it didn't work out. Mm. But uh, now that things are more EU and there's more, maybe more seaplane knowledge people around. Yeah. That it could work again. So that'd be pretty exciting to do that. Uh, it's exciting too being here, being a startup. It's still a bit of a startup airline, so we're new in the country. Same with Croatia, it was, it was a startup airline. Yeah, you so, say you're one of the only seaplane pilots in Croatia? Uh, there's you're, a few. Well, there's a, when I got my validation, my validation in Croatia was number 11. Only 11 foreigners had licenses validated mm, in okay. Croatia. And for creation licenses of seaplane, there's just a handful of guys. So mm, okay. it's fun to be still. There's still a chance to be a bit of pioneer in some parts of the world. It's <laughs> pretty good. All right. Well, I'll see you next time. Maybe next summer. Who knows where that will be? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll see you in Budapest. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> All right. Have a good flight, Jason. Great. Right, thanks. Got my boarding pass, 6F, it's a window seat. Now I'm leaving Aarhus Airport to Prague and then to Budapest. I should get there at 1.35 p.m. I'll go get my visa at the embassy as soon as I land. This is the funny jet bridge that just goes nearby the plane. It doesn't even connect to the door. Hello. Sail Monter in uh, Budapest, Hungary. I'm gonna go get my visa for Algeria. So I'm making progress here on my world travels. I flew all the way from Aarhus, Denmark. <laughs> 